Good morning, fam. This is uh, Chris Reyes, Paradox Cycle, also Kuvids. Um, it's Saturday morning. It's beautiful. The sun's coming up. <clears throat> and uh, I just want to do a quick video just kind of talking about a decision that I I made where I really want to take the, the a larger amount of effort to kind of show the digital collectibles and FTs that I own and what they can do. Um, for a little bit now, I've been kind of messing around with AI software, uh, video enhancement, <clears throat> and uh, small tools, and it's only going to get more incredible as time goes on. Um, I don't ever see this, these abilities um, of using this AI software or enhancement as being a replacement for original creativity, uh, for ingenuity, and imagination. I just see it as a tool to take what we already have and just taking it to a whole new level. Um, just like any, any technology uh, or uh, new um, software will, will do. With that being said, um, I think seeing that you know we own digital collectibles, we, we own these, these IPs or even like uh, ones that the platforms have generated uh, are incredible. The fact that you own a digital piece of information and then that information can be brought into a different medium is incredible. It's mind blowing. Um, I kind of had seen um, some videos with um, Google Pixel <clears throat> uh, years ago and just as fast as it came, it vanished. I mean, you saw things like Stranger Things, um, Star Wars, um, Marvel, and this is like years ago on phones that were years ago. And it vanished. And I think that what happened was that um, these companies were like, holy cow, the, this is like a genie in a bottle here. We've opened this bottle. Now we need to figure out how what we're going to do with this. So I really believe that um, with what a, a lot of giant companies are doing right now, especially with uh, the idea of uh, royalty streams, uh, digital ownership, that it's, it's getting all ironed out. I think it's getting all worked out, ironed out. I've kind of said this in a few of my spaces. Uh, Twitter spaces, a, a few of my videos, um, I've said this in posts, so now I'm just going to really go out there and kind of show what I see, what the potential is. I'm not sure what the outcome is going to be, guys, um, I'm nervous as heck <laughs> doing it, but uh, I think it needs to be kind of set out there, and I hope more people will take the banner up, um, push the the vision and really just show what um, digital collectible ownership, NFTs, and, and the potential of royalties are. I think that when uh, these big giant companies see that there's an income stream tied to the sales and um, transfer of um, ownership, it's going to be a real real game changer. I, r I really believe that. Being an, an eBayer and having an eBay store, and I've, I've sold really high-end items, where, you know, unfortunately, the, the previous artist, the previous company didn't get a penny for that. They didn't get nothing for that. And, um, you know, I think that's a shame because, you know, I was able to benefit from the sale of that item. Yeah, maybe I, I did find that item. Uh, I did take time to, to find the buyer for it and, and then be the, the emir broker pretty much with that whole um, transaction. But... <clears throat> A income stream should be there for the original artist, for the original licenses, because a lot of time and effort goes into making all this stuff, you know, the music, the a animations, the digital properties, the everything, everything. Uh, so many people were involved in that. And and for me, they, they don't get anything when I, when I sell something. So I really hope going forward, I can kind of spread and uh, bring more awareness of what AI technology and video enhancement can do to digital collectibles. And I hope that, you know, not for me, but I hope somewhere the information gets out there and that these bigger companies can really see the, the positive potential on how an income stream with through royalties and licensing can really streamline and kind of not only protect the brand, but really promote it um, into a lot of different spaces of what, you know, Web3 and potentially what Web4 can be. So I think that's it. 
I don't want to make this video too long. I'm already at the five minute mark. But uh, I want to put it out there. I want to just really kind of show my intentions. And um, that's it. Hopefully I can share a vision. Everyone has fun. Um, kind of understands what I'm doing with these digital collectibles and where it can go from here. All right, guys. Peace. Later.